fitness season of racing, everything from 5Ks to marathons to triathlons. Brian brings firsthand experience of the importance of nutrition for recovery and longevity. So Brian, welcome. Thank you. And Wendy, who is Brian's wife, Wendy's also a panelist with us, and uh, she's a mother of children and a she's 25. Her background in nursing with a current focus of educating the public about the relationship to disease and nutrition. And she has been representing Juice Plus Company for 18 years because of the company's integrity and state-of-the-art standards for growing and encapsulating whole food nutrition to fill the gap with the nutrition most people don't get in their diet. She's passionately uh, she's passionate about making a difference in the health of many people around the world because of the transformation that has taken place in her own life. Wendy is also a, a certified Christian life coach through the Ultimate Source and is co-director of an English second language program at church. We're glad to have you here. Good to be here. So let's uh, get started. So Wendy, uh, please set the stage for us. Uh, for what is going in, going on in our countries, in our country today, would you share some trends that you impacting our health? Yeah, I'd be happy to. Actually, this has been a passion of mine to have an understanding about what's changed through the years. Um, when I think back to working in the hospital 25 years ago. I remember it being hard. It was devastating, the disease, the destruction that was going on to the patients and the families. But the thing that just strikes me the most right now is how much worse it is today than it was 25 years ago, um, where there used to be a handful of autoimmune diseases. Now there are hundreds of autoimmune diseases. Where there used to be a ward, I remember being in Children's Hospital in Dayton, and um, there was a ward of childhood cancer. It was devastating. It was so heartbreaking. Now there are hospitals solely for children with cancer, and really cancer is rampant in our country. It's wreaking havoc in so many ways today that it never was before. So I feel like um, we're seeing changes over the years, and it's getting worse. It really is. And um, so I've really tried to watch what these things are and why they're happening and what's taking place. And one of the reasons is because we live in a chemically toxic world. We are exposed to a lot more toxic chemicals that are really putting our health at risk, a far greater risk than it used to. And unless you're living in a bubble, you're definitely being affected by this, um, whether it's the food that we eat, the water today, the cosmetics that we wear, the lotions and potions, um, the lawn, you know, just a lot of chemicals. Um, and then we also live in a very radiated world. It didn't use, we didn't use to have the microwave radiation um, like we do today, and as well as the cellular radiation. Think about how many cell phones are going on all around us. And so that radiation bombards our health, bombards our systems, and we really need to, you know, fight against that with being healthy, living a healthy lifestyle. Um, but the biggest thing I feel is the food quality today. It's frightening to think about the numbers of chemicals and carcinogens that are in hiding in our foods today. Most countries don't allow a lot of these chemicals to be in the food supply, but unfortunately we do here in our country. For whatever reason, it's allowed. And you have to remember that that the pharmaceutical industry is the biggest lobbying group we have. So, you know, just if you keep that in perspective, um, it's allowed here. So it's really important that you know what you're putting in your body, you're reading the labels. The shorter the list, the better. Um, you want to be able to pronounce the ingredient. Um, a lot of things can't even be pronounced by most people, but they're putting them in their bodies. And the closer that you stay to nature, the better. So just a rules of thumb to go by and really all this to say that I do believe our bodies were designed for abundant health much more health than what we have today um, we've just come so far from that nourishment um, what our cells need to flourish and when our cells are flourishing our tissues are flourishing our organ systems are flourishing and our bodies and our health are flourishing so we need to get back to that 
if you consider the pH of the body being neutral, like we need to stay within a neutral zone, and if not, our bodies are trying to adjust, well, the food that used to be eaten long ago was much more pH neutral. So our bodies were more at rest in processing that food. So we ate a lot of fruits, veggies, whole grains, nuts, seeds. You know, today, our sad American diet, standard American diet, is much more acidic um, with lots of chemicals in our processed foods, diet sodas, you know, the meat and dairy has been altered, you know, unless you're really looking for the really good quality. Um, coffee, you know, is, Starbucks is just <laughs> taking over our country. All those things are making our bodies so much more acidic, which that's where disease cancer thrives. Um, so our bodies um, really move into this place of dis-ease, disease, dis-ease, because they're having a hard time operating in that acidic condition. We are definitely fearfully, wonderfully made, but there's you know only so long that our bodies can try to compensate in that place. Um, another trend taking place is that we tend to live in a much more stressful Build life. Um, we're fast paced, convenience focused, technology driven, and it can also wreak havoc on our bodies that we live at that pace. And I know I'm, I'm, I fall into that category as well. Um, I really have to fight to get that rest and um, stress, you know, places of un, like kind of de-stressing. Um, so when our bodies are out of balance, it's called oxidative stress. That's where disease thrives again. Uh, and that acidic stress-filled environment. So many people turn to healthy lifestyle choices, but only after a crisis. So we are here to encourage you to focus on prevention because turning a healthcare crisis around can be a much more difficult thing to do with a healthy lifestyle, even though a lot of people do, I did, um, but we often don't get that second chance. So we're here to encourage you tonight. Thanks, Wendy. And so, Brian, uh, as, would you just expand on Wendy a little bit and just talk about how you see f food as fuel? Sure, sure. That's a great question, Mike. Thank you. Um, well, first thing I want to do is just touch on Wendy hit the importance of an alkaline uh, body balance versus a body balance. And I want to suggest, you guys, if you just Google uh, balance your body, alkaline versus acidic um, there's a website out there called lust for life and they have a great visual on that uh, website uh, that shows the types of foods that are alkaline uh, all the way around to the acidic and fruits and vegetables being the number one source for alkaline style food alkaline type of food so that's a great website for you just to throw in your notes if you're taking notes whatever but here, here's what I'll do today is just real quickly touch on some things that help us as far as the practical way that we think about food. Um, generally, we think of food in five ways. The first one is I want to eliminate my hunger, right? Your body says I'm hungry. You go to the cupboard, you go to the refrigerator. So you're thinking, okay, I want to eliminate my hunger. Um, the second thing we generally think about is I want something that tastes good that's going to be pleasing to my palate that I want to have. Um, we ask ourselves, it's going to be convenient. And then if we're out shopping or whatever, we'll say, well, can I even afford this? I mean, we would all be able to love to buy wild caught, caught salmon, you know, every day for dinner. Um, but you know, not when it's $30 a pound type thing. Um, and then the number five thing that we tend to think about is the social aspect of food. You know, we gather around the table, that type of thing. And uh, those are all okay things to think about. I'm not giving a negative to any of those. However, what I'd really like for us to do today is to add to that list and try to make a mind shift to where your first thought is about food being fuel. And what is this food going to do for my body? What positive impact is it going to have on my body? You know, I, I have some friends who have some very high performance cars and they would never pull into a gas station uh, and not premium fuel in their car. They just would do it. And we have to think that way about our bodies as well. And we need to be thinking live food. You know, here's a, here's a quick little thing for you to remember as well, is that if it does not rot or sprout, throw it out. That's a good way to think about live food. You know, if you've got things in your cupboard or in your refrigerator that never die, that never go away, that never grow, 
anything on them, then it's most likely not live food and it's not going to carry any nutrient value for your, uh, for your body. You also want to be thinking about 9 to 13 servings of raw fruits and vegetables a day is what's uh, recommended for us. And that's a lot, you know, the serving being about one cup or the size of your fist. And to get that in on a basis is very difficult. And we're going to talk about a simple way to do that. Uh, you want to think about eating your colors. You know, if you look at your plate and it's generally pale, it's white and brown and tan, uh, then you're not getting high nutrient foods. Not You're not getting uh, nutrient dense foods that way. You want to avoid processed foods. Like Wendy said, if you can't read the label, uh, you generally want to stay away from it. And you want to shop the perimeters, the parameter of the grocery store. That's where the live food is. You start going down the aisles, you're starting to buy boxes and cans of processed foods. We also generally have very much a habit trap, meaning that we eat the same dozen to 15 different foods over and over and over again. You know, that's a great test to ask yourself. Just look in your cupboard uh, once a month for three or four months, and you'll realize you're buying the same stuff over and over again. And you need to add variety so that you're getting those nutrients, uh, you know, those different nutrients into your body as well. Um, and then the last thing, uh, you know, that I want to talk about as far as food for fuel is concerned, you really need to be thinking about, you got to fill the pipeline. And what I mean by that is you can't just have food for fuel once in a while. It really needs to be a lifestyle. Just like exercise is a lifestyle, thinking about food for fuel is a lifestyle so that your pipeline is always full of good food uh, and your body's able to draw from that. So those were kind of just the tips um, that I wanted to share with you as far as uh, food for fuel is concerned. So yeah, that's, that's really, thank yeah, thank you so much. That was really, really great. I really appreciate that. And as you think about this, I mean, as, as we think about this, we all realize eating what we should uh, can be extremely difficult, um, a, a tall task because we know what we should do and sometimes we don't. So Shelby, if you could talk about how juice plus fills the gap between uh, what we should eat and what we do eat. Absolutely, that's an excellent point, Mike, because we all know what we should eat, but it's not necessarily what we are eating. And so for me, I'm just gonna explain a little bit of my story. Um, I was introduced to kind of cleaner eating younger in life. I'm 26 years old, but when I graduated from college, I was really looking for a source of, um, I don't know, sustainable nutrients, which is hard to find when, you know, you're first graduating, you're get paying a bills for the first time, you know, you have student loans, you know, you have debt, you're kind of learning how to manage your finances. How do you really, and none of that really goes away. That's the joke about growing up, right? We think that maybe adulthood kind of changes and evolves, but we're all kind of stuck in this um, kind of obstacle, this kind of rat race, right, of trying to maintain our finances but also prioritize healthy living and so i was very fortunate enough to be introduced to an organic farm right out of college and a little bit about my story about why that completely changed my life is because it changed my brain chemistry your brain is connected to your gut your gut is now considered your second brain and so for me when i was inundated because of this healthy living farm, this organic farm that I had right accessible to me, I was really able to change my habits. And I was so excited. I was rejuvenated and I was definitely put on a path where I was saying, okay, early in life, this is something I need to prioritize, even though I have student loans and debt and all of these things for the first time. Um, so moving forward, I, when I moved, when I moved away, life takes me in different directions. I didn't have that farm accessible to me. So what do I do? What do we all do when we're at home and we're shopping, like Brian was saying at the grocery store and we're trying to stay to the perimeter, but it's not easy. You know, it's not, that's not a simple choice because there's a lot of preparation that goes into eating fruits and vegetables on a regular basis. And so I was very frustrated. Um, particularly because that brain chemistry I was talking about was no longer, um, I don't know, sustainable is not the word I want to say, but it was no longer prevalent in my life. I was really starting to notice my, my mental health fluctuate because I was lacking my fruits and vegetables. 
And that might sound like I was very intuitive, but your body really does tell you. You would think that your fatigue, your depression, your anxiety might be because of life circumstances, but it's really connected to what you're eating more than you realize. And so um, for me, I had a good friend of mine who ended up introducing me to a very simple solution. She said, Shelby, you're struggling. You have depression. You have anxiety. I was diagnosed with bipolar disorder in college. I was on a slew of medication. And she said, you need some help. And I'm going, and I, as, in a loving way, I want to offer you something that works for me. So what she shared with me was essentially a farm and a capsule. And it doesn't get more simple than that. And for me, I was looking for something that I could take as medication, but what's better than food as your own medicine, right? And so what this, the company that she introduced me to, the company is called Juice Plus, they essentially encapsulate produce. And it's considered a whole food product. It's not a vitamin, it's not a supplement. And they have different blends of these produce items. And not only do they put them into a capsule form, but they also put them into a complete protein shake mix. And you can also grow your own your own vegetables at home through a tower garden, which I wish I could show you right now and like da 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 da, but we can send you pictures if you're interested in seeing it. But you can grow your own produce all year round. And so for me, this was so good to be true and uh, like too good to be true but you know i think what we're all looking for and the reason why it spoke volumes to me is because as a, as someone who is juggling finances and prioritizing my health this is such a simple solution for everybody and so i think when we're looking for simplicity we have to go back to what we're eating and we have to go we have to go back to understanding that it's okay if you can't do it all on your own and if we're all going to have to take a pill anyway for our health, might as well be a farm in a capsule. <laughs> that's what I have to say. So that's my answer, Mike. I, think, I appreciate that. Thank you, Shelby. Very good. Uh, Wendy, would you expand on the research behind Juice Plus uh, that Shelby brought up and the, the research about why this uh, separates us from all other nutritional products available on the market today? Yeah, sure. Shelby, I just love that farm in a capsule because it is. They, they go to such incredible measures to down from the seed to the nutrient-rich soil to growing vine ripened to juicing it right there off site, you know, flash freezing. The whole process of it is such high quality. So I just love it. But the clinical research on Juice Plus really is what sets this product apart from anything out there. And it's really what made me really excited to get this nutrition in my body as well as my family. Um, I had to come to the realization, or I, I had come to the realization that so many products out out there, whatever was on the shelf at the health food store, they're not regulated. So I found myself very frustrated, like this handful of stuff I was trying to take for an autoimmune disease that I had wasn't regulated. I had no idea if it work, was working in my body. And so I, I couldn't find any research. And so the books I was reading had said, you know, look for research. And so when my doctor had shared Juice Plus with me, I said, show me the research. You know, there's gotta be research on it if I'm gonna put it in my body. Um, and I truly was blown away by what I found. The majority of this research is gold standard, meaning you can't get any better than the quality of this research. So it's um, randomized, for those of you who like research, it's randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled. It's tested on the product itself, so it's not borrowed research. So if there is research out there on a product, typically it is borrowed. It'll say it has apples, therefore it's researched from an apple, an actual apple, so it's not actually on their product. And it's in peer-reviewed journals, which is why so many healthcare professionals out there are recommending it and putting their name behind it. Um, and you're known by the company you keep, and we are definitely known by incredible company um, with the hospitals and universities that we have around the world. Um, institutions like Yale, uh, Wake Forest, Vanderbilt, um, call it the King's College in London, Tokyo Women's Center, um, we're in Würzburg, Germany, they're just incredible you know, colleges and universities that are doing studies. Um, what it's showing to do is that it's bioavailable to the body. So, so many of uh, vitamins they're, they're finding just go straight through because the body doesn't recognize it. 
the body does recognize what's in Juice Plus because it's food. And it says, oh, I was made for this. I was designed for food, whole food nutrition. So it is absorbed. The research is also showing that it balances the immune system. Get so, so much autoimmune going on out there. That's what I had. It gets that immune system back into balance as long as you're continuing to not only take Juice Plus, but other you know, factors and you're really caring for your body well. But the, on Juice Plus alone, it's showing to get that back into balance. Um, decreased inflammation, it promotes cardiovascular health and wellness, reduces um, DNA damage, lowers oxidative stress that we talked about before. Um, the dental studies show reduced pocket depth, bleeding is decreased, and wound healing after an extraction is um, so much quicker. And actually, we have another study on just after surgery. The wound healing is so quick. Um, it's just powerful. So if anybody would like more um, information about the research, we'd be happy to, to send it to you. Just let us know. Thank you, Wendy. I appreciate that. And uh, Wendy, would your life literally changed because of the power of, uh, of a plant-based diet, diet? I mean, just briefly, could you share one or two highlights of what you experienced? Yeah. Well, I had been, like I said, battling fibromyalgia for eight to 10 years. That was, you know, started 30 years ago. So about 20 years ago, I felt like I finally had an answer, but I was feeling exhausted all the time. I was in pain, taking a lot of medication, but it was really when the doctors mentioned steroids that I knew there had to be another way. And for me, it was a, a cry to God for help. So it led me to consider the power of his creation in her body. So I, was, I started talking to friends that ate well, reading books, and I could not believe what I was finding as far as what the body needed. As a nurse, I love physiology. I, I think we're just incredibly made, but I didn't realize what the cells truly needed. And that's what I was realizing. Um, like Brian was saying, just like a sports car um, needs high octane fuel, we are so much more than a sports car, so we need high octane fuel for our bodies. Um, and like I said, my doctor told me about Juice Plus, um, the research got started, went off my medications, which I wouldn't recommend you doing without, you know, making sure that you can come off of those quickly, um, but focused on good fuel and water and um, we always say that Juice Plus is a catalyst for change in our lives because our bodies crave what we put in them. And so what we see, and I noticed, noticed in my family and my kids, is that when we put Juice Plus in our bodies, we really craved healthier things. And so it's so much more easier to eat well. Some people just say, oh, I'm just gonna change my diet. Well, that's gonna be hard to do. But if you can get 30 fruits and vegetables in your diet every day, it's much easier to do. And um, because you start hungering for them. Um, I felt like a clarity of thought. My di digestive issues cleared up really quickly within two or three months. And the autoimmune took about a year, maybe 10 months to a year. Um, but I feel like I was given my life back because when we have our health, we have abundance in so many other areas of, well, in all areas of our lives, I feel. We can just flourish in life. Um, and our kids have been doing so much better. I feel like they also just really have excellent health. Um, but I was told there was no answer. So here, just take these medicines, deal with it. I'm, I'm here to tell you 85 to 95% of disease is preventable through a healthy lifestyle. And so you can repair and recover from a lot of these diseases and sicknesses. Um, our bodies just need that whole food nutrition. So I couldn't keep this to myself, um, started sharing it with everyone I knew and loved, and, and that's just kind of how I got started on this mission as well. Just uh, wanted to make a difference um, and bring hope to people's lives. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just want to be mindful of everybody's time. We have like four minutes left. And so uh, just, just briefly here, a um, uh, couple more thoughts. Uh, Brian, what have you seen as far as the Healthy, healthy Living Revolution effect on different types of people as you've come across them you've seen a lot of people come through uh, yeah finish. thanks um yeah. I, I'll, I'll try to to summarize this just real quickly and that you know we do try to live a lifestyle as far as a healthy living is concerned and with my background in sports and in exercise you know exercise has an incredibly powerful impact that's another piece of the whole puzzle not only the whole food piece of it and i would strongly recommend you know a minimum goal should be about 30 minutes uh, a day, five days a week of an elevated heart rate, 
And uh, I know my buddy Charles is on here tonight. Uh, you know, we've, we've got a whole group of men that are aging athletes and we're all trying to do the best we can to stay healthy that way. And there's a lot of advantages um, to being an athlete and there's a lot of disadvantages to that as well. Um, but another piece of that is the, so you've got the whole foods, you've got the exercise, and then another big piece is hydration. You know, we talked about food, but water's just as important. A good rule of thumb is half your body weight in ounces. So what Winnie and I do is we always keep a water bottle with us, and that way we know how much we've been drinking. But you need to be hydrating <laughs> all the time as well, particularly as we age. And um, bourbon doesn't count, Charles. I'm sorry. We're talking water here. So <laughs> on that, but here's the reality of it, you know, again, and I'll just go quickly. I, hopefully we can go maybe just five minutes over. Uh, but, um, you know, athletes, oftentimes we have good equipment, we have good training, but we skip on the good nutrition and it, because it's hard to do. Um, and that's where the juice plus comes in. It's super easy. It's a super easy way to get the good nutrition into it. And, um, I'll share my story at a different time, but I've been taking Juice Plus for over 20 years now, and I'm in uh, I'm 60 years old. And like in my bio, it was my 38th year of doing endurance racing without missing a season, um, and I attribute the majority of that to uh, to good nutrition. So, just a quick final thought for you: you know, if your lifestyle does not control your body, uh, someday your body will control your lifestyle. Yeah. Thank you, Brian. That's a that's a really great thought. Um, so, one Shelby, would you share with us uh, to, for briefly about Shred Ten and how people can jumpstart their health through that program? Yes, absolutely. So, um, you can learn more about this program from the person who invited you to the call tonight. But basically, as I shared in my story, as a girl who's looking for simplicity in most areas of my life, um, first and foremost, the Shred Ten program is definitely an easy way to sustainably embrace your unhealthy habits and make them into healthier habits by eating clean. And so it's 10 days of focusing on cutting out the bad stuff, cutting out the processed foods, the inflammatory foods, and getting that hydration that Brian was talking about, but also just giving your body a genuine time of rest, but also like by prioritizing sleep, but also um, just focusing on putting it first for 10 days. So if that's something that interests you, it's a free program with the Juice Plus community. Um, if you're interested in something like that, I would definitely talk to the person who invited you and we can share with you more of those nitty gritty details. But it's definitely a beautiful community. I've been a part of it for two years. And it's so easy. I mean, if I can do it, the girl who's drinking wine right now, anyone can do it. <laughs> you drink a yeah, wine mug, Shelby. I do. It's a, it's a skull, too. It's just. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Ah. Uh, Shelby, and I have to, I mean, I've been, I've done Shred 10, and I would vouch for it. It's, it's a great, simple program that really does do what it says. It does jump start, start the house, so. Uh, Shelby, thank you for introducing that to me as well. Uh, and just in a couple of minutes we have left, any final thoughts from any of you, uh, Wendy, Brian, or Shelby about Juice Plus, about Healthy Liver Revolution, anything that you would like to leave us with? Um, yeah. Wendy, I'll leave it with you. Well, um, I mean, just like I was sharing, I feel like you know, sometimes we have these battle wounds and not everybody has to have a story like mine. Mine is pretty, was pretty devastating, but I feel like those battle wounds of the past are now being used to help others. So I see it as a victory, are now victory. And I, I just love being surrounded by people like you guys um, who desire to bring hope to others. So we have an amazing community of people who are on a mission to help bring healthy back really to this country and even around the world. We're in 25 different countries. So I love that we are able to spread this good news and, and really make a difference in this area. Yeah. And Mike, I'd just like to say that, uh, you know, if anybody has further questions about this, just contact the person that invited you here tonight and we can share more details about it. But I'll say this, we've been doing this for 20 years. Um, and it's literally changed hundreds and hundreds of lives, literally thousands of lives of people that we've been able to uh, to touch and share with. And it's all been positive. And, you know, I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't risk the integrity 
of, of our name uh, if I didn't believe in this to my soul. So I'm just happy to be here tonight. Thank you, Brian and Wendy. Shelby, anything? Last thoughts? Yeah, absolutely. I think that um, as someone who two years ago was fighting day to day and was really suffering with my mental illness, now I have clarity of mind in a way that I didn't think is possible. I'm working full time. I'm building a business full time. I'm on a kid's dose of medication. And every month I have the most beautiful support thanks to the Shred 10 program. But above that, I have the biggest and baddest cheerleaders at my back. Um, and that's just made the world of difference. And so if you're looking for a little bit of added value to your life and some support, you're definitely in the right hands by being part of the juice plus conversation so i i really encourage you to continue that conversation with the person who loves you and invited you tonight thank you uh thank you shelby thank you brian and wendy thank you everyone for being with us tonight uh it's been great information that you all shared i uh wonderful thank you so much and uh like they all said talk to somebody and uh continue to be part of this healthy living healthy living revolution and truly take back your health. Awesome. Thanks, Mike. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you Mike. Good night, Thank everybody. You guys. Take care. Bye, Charles. Bye. See you. Bye. Bye, Richard. Bye, Kevin. Katie. Bye, babe. Love you. I love you, too. You got the recording on there still, babe. Yeah. I'll turn